What's up everybody, Brandon with Strict Vision Athletics here with another product review. Uh, very excited about this one today. Uh, I've been a big fan of this for a while. This is the Eccentric K-Box 4 Lite. And for the purposes of this review, I am going to only focus on the K-Box 4 Lite. And I make that disclaimer because Eccentric has a lot of different products. They've got a lot of variability on the sizing of their boxes. They've got the K-Pulley Go that we previously did a review on, and they do a few other pieces of machinery as well. They do a leg extension, all based on flywheel technology. And that's really what the core tenant of this company is. Flywheel technology, best in the world. That's what they have striven, or striven, that's what they strive to be, and that is really what they have put out. They have an amazing product here. So, as you guys know, our, our reviews, they go on pricing, quality, usage, footprint, and customer service. So we're gonna take that category by category. Let's start with price. Again, for the purposes of this review, I am focusing on this specific box. There are other ones you can get. You can get the K-Box uh, Pro, which I know is a little bit wider. You can get the K-Box Active, which I think is a little bit beefier. I'm not exactly sure, but this one is the one we have. So this is the one I wanna talk about. This is the K-Box 4 Lite. I love this thing. Very, very useful, very easily uh, accessible for home gym owners. Let's start with the price. So this bad boy is expensive. All of their technology is. Nothing you get from Eccentric is gonna be cheap. They are the best at this that I have found. So, that being said, this unit starts at 2,700 plus shipping. That's just for the unit. That is their basic starter package. I will say this as well. One thing that I noticed, their website is, it can be a little overwhelming to try to navigate. You get into their website. First of all, just finding this box is kind of difficult. You have to go to their uh, systems. You have to find the box. You have to go to the right starter packet. Then you get to select all your different variability. And you have options on uh, the, the, um, the waist trainer you can get. You can get uh, ankle attachments. And I think you get one flywheel. I'm not exactly sure. I think it's maybe one or two flywheels. But whatever it is, the base price starts at $2,700. So right off the bat, you know, I am dealing with something that is not, this is an actual investment. I need to have everything I need to know about this. I need to already know. I need to have an understanding of what I'm going to spend and I, need, I probably need to budget. So if you're a home gym owner, just know you're gonna spend a fair amount of money just for the base. I recommend getting a few more uh, flywheels, uh, maybe some accessories. They do a K meter that allows you to uh, measure your force output. There's a lot of bells and whistles that you can add to this, which brings me to the top of this system. They have their, uh, their advanced system for the K-Box Lite and that's $5,200. So you've got a bridge between 2700 to 5200 and you could honestly spend even more. If you wanted to get more flywheels, if you wanted to get more attachments or a storage rack, you could do that with Eccentric. They've got everything covered for a price. $5,200 to get their full get up, that's a hefty investment. That is a big time investment on the part of the gym owner. So just know that going forward, you're dealing with a very expensive product. There's no way to get around it. I will give this a 6.1 for the price. I think it's a big investment for one piece of equipment like this. That is a lot of it. That is a lot of cash to throw uh, to throw into the investment. But let's go into why it costs that. So let's go to quality. The quality of this product is the best I've ever found for a flywheel. There are several companies on the market that are doing this. I've seen them uh, popping up a little bit more. This is a Swedish-based company. They've done an amazing job with the technology. You will notice when you get this, when you start fiddling with it, when you start really using it, that they spare no expense on the design of their quality. Their flywheels are very, very uh, symmetrical and dense, and, and there are no dents or bends or anything like that. The strap they use is very durable. I've used this thing now for probably three to six months and it's never worn out. Uh, the mechanics of it all are incredible. You can see they used really, really good materials on their wheels and their uh, attachment bar here with their little um, clamp. It's just all very custom feel. It all fits this model. You can tell this was designed for this and it's very, very nice. Very, very good quality product. I'd give it a 9.5. That is definitely the redeeming score to make up for that price. And that's kind of the trade-off oftentimes with these companies is if you want to get something that will stand the test of time and last, you're probably going to have to pay a lot. That's what exercise equipment is and that's what this is. So let's talk about usage. Another score where Eccentric is really going to knock this out of the park. Uh, usage for this is a 8.7. This, in truth, could replace two thirds of the pieces of equipment that you use for lower body in your gym. 
I say that with a disclaimer that I would probably not do that for my gym. I find that doing flywheel movements, it's incredible for hypertrophy training and you are gonna burn out when you use this thing. If you're doing squats, if you're doing split squats, if you're doing any kind of a bent over row, anything where the resistance is going from the ground up and you are implementing it properly, you're gonna burn out and you are gonna know you are getting a good workout in. I would not use it to replace traditional things like a squat rack, like a machine, like a leg press. It, it, it has its own feel to it. I like it as a burnout. That's my favorite thing for the flywheel technology. I love doing a workout where I've got two, maybe three traditional exercises using machinery, using free weights. Then I'll end on a flywheel. I love that. It's a great adaptation to a gym. It's truly incredible. And so the usage I would give to this is an 8.7. This is a very, very good piece of equipment to have. Um, yeah, it's just really, really nice to have in your gym and I, I love it. Let's get to the next category and that's footprint. Man, honestly, the only category that it seems like this thing might've fallen short is the pricing. Footprint on this is amazing. This, especially this unit, if I were to recommend of all the systems they sell, I would get this unit. It is uh, big enough and beefy enough for the big boys to jump on this and get some really heavy reps in, but it's also small enough that it will fit in the corner of my gym. It's little. I could hang it on the wall if I was so inclined. I found a little area here for me to just leave it. It's nice. It's easy to store. The footprint on this is outstanding. And they knew that. They knew that they needed to make technology that would fit in a garage gym, you, you know, facility. So that's what they did. Footprint is great. I'll give this an 8.0. 8.0 for footprint, it goes just about anywhere. It's not bad, not bad at all for what it does. Lastly, let's go customer service. Eccentric has done an amazing job with their team. They know that what they are selling is perhaps overpriced. They know that they are charging an arm and a leg for you to buy this. So what they have done is they have made sure that they have systems in place for answering questions, for education, all of this is found on their website. They've got a lot of good outreach through social media. They'll have a lot of videos of people uh, using their equipment, talking about their equipment. They do a good job of making sure you understand what it is you're buying because this takes a little bit of knowledge in order to operate. You're not gonna just be able to get on it and do it like you would a traditional leg press. This requires an understanding of tempo, ballistic timing, and how to just set everything up and operate it. Those are things you're gonna have to know when you get this, otherwise you're gonna be, feel a bit lost. I know I did when I first got it, but they were always there. Um, well done, Eccentric. Customer service, I'll give you all an 8.2. So that's the uh, score for customer service. So all of those added up, bring the total score for the Eccentric Flywheel K-Box 4 Lite to an 8.1. That's a stellar score. Again, the only thing that I really think in this product review kind of hurts this is the pricing, but it's justified through the quality of the product, the education they offer, and the footprint that it allows you to put in your gym. It's a great piece of equipment. I can't say that enough. It is an investment you're going to have to spend for it, but it is well worth it if a flywheel is something you see being home in your gym. That's what I have to say. Well done, Eccentric. I love this thing. I use it every single macro cycle with at least one or two of my clients. It's a great piece of equipment. Thank you as always. Uh, if you guys have any questions, if you disagree with something I said, uh, one of the scores that I gave, or you have a question about how this works, please don't hesitate to uh, subscribe and send us a message.